The woman accused of trying to self-abort her own pregnancy wants all the charges dropped. Anna Yaka was first charged with attempted first-degree murder. That's since been downgraded to aggravated assault. Now, as News Channel 5's Nick Barris learned, there's a new twist to the high-profile case, which made national headlines. The controversial trial of Anna Yuka will be held in this very courtroom. If it gets that far, a motion has been filed to dismiss all charges. Police arrested the then 31-year-old Anna Yaka one year ago. She was accused of trying to terminate her six-month pregnancy at home using a coat hanger. The injuries sustained by baby Yoka were very, very severe. The baby boy was later delivered by C-section, alive but with permanent injuries. A grand jury initially indicted Yaka for attempted first-degree murder. Good morning. Can you state your name for me, please? Anna Yaka. Yaka went before a judge last year via closed circuit television from the Rutherford County Jail. Do you understand the charges against you? Uh, vaguely. Since then, the prosecution has reduced the charge to aggravated assault. Some questioned Yaka's mental competency to stand trial, but now we've learned a psychological evaluation found. There is no indication that Ms. Yaka failed to have sufficient reality contact in regard to the nature and wrongfulness of her accused behavior. In other words, she wasn't crazy. News Channel 5 legal analyst Nick Leonardo says there are options other than claiming insanity. Obviously, she's going to have some sort of defense. In fact, Yaka's attorney has now filed a motion to dismiss the assault charge, arguing that to do otherwise makes every pregnant woman vulnerable to arrest and prosecution if she is perceived to have caused or even risked harm to a human embryo or fetus, and that the prosecution is absurd, illogical, and unconstitutional. Free Anna Yoka! Free Anna Yoka! A small group of protesters Free showed Anna at Yoka. Yaka's last court hearing in support of abortion rights. A judge will now decide if the prosecution continues. It seems there's no separating the politics of the abortion issue in this case. It will be interesting to see what the judge does. In Murfreesboro, Nick Barris, News Channel 5. The judge will hear arguments on the defense motion tomorrow morning. Yaka's trial is scheduled for next May. The child sustained injuries to his brain, eyes and lungs and is now in DCS custody.